I'm going to do is I'm going to combine like terms. And before I can combine like terms, I can't add the 5x and the 6x because that's being multiplied by 1 third and that's being multiplied by 1 fourth. Now, there is one way you can do this, and that's to use the distributive property. And if I did distributive property, let's just look at the x's though, real quick. If I did distributive property here, I'd get a 5 thirds x and plus an 8 thirds y. Then here, I get a 6 fourths x minus a 2 fourths y. Now, I could easily do this, all right, combine like terms. The only difference is when I'm combining a 5 thirds x and a 6 fourths x, I have to get the same denominator, right? So I have to multiply by my lowest common denominator, figure it out, and do it, and which is perfectly fine. It's not hard. It's just more work that I don't want to do. So I'm going to show you a different way to do this. You can easily do this like this. Finish the problem from there. Perfect. However, I like to get rid of my fractions right off the bat. All right? So when I see fractions, rather than multiplying by my fraction, I want to get rid of my fraction. And to get rid of my fraction, I can multiply by multiples um, of what you know, denominator. So if I'm dividing by 3, to undo that, I can, uh, to undo division of 3, I can multiply by, you know, 3. And over here, if I want to get rid of my 1 4, I need to multiply by 4 to get rid of it. But since I want to keep this the same, right, I don't want to be changing my answer, I'm going to multiply everything by 12 here and 12 here. So what happens is, by doing this, I'm multiplying this whole problem by a multiple of 12. All right, if you multiply this by 3 and this, and this by 4, you're actually changing your problem. You don't want to do that. You got to multiply everything together by the same number. 12 divided by 3 gives me 4. 5x plus 8y plus 3 times 6x minus 2y. Now I don't have any fractions. And now it's very easy for me to see, do, do, distributive property. Okay, now I can combine my x's and combine my y's. And there you go. Now that's how you combine like terms when you have a fraction, just get rid of it.